Welcome back to this series of tutorials aimed at getting you to start working with Code Igniter. We left off in the last part uh, downloading the framework, installing the framework, and creating our first controller and views. Okay, so if you didn't watch the first part, I advise you to go ahead and stop this video and watch uh, watch the first part. The link will be in the, in the description. Okay, so. All right. In this part, we're going to start creating models. Models are, uh, are the part of the framework that connect to the database and deal with all that. Okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and go into our config folder and pull up database.php. Okay. So if you scroll down, you'll see here is where we can uh, create our database connection. So the Host name, username, database, all that goes here. Okay. And since we're working with the database, we also want to go into our autoloads.php file. And he here we can go ahead and load the database class, which will provide the functionality <clears throat> to actually work with the database and all the functions that Code Igniter has for it. Okay. So now that we have all that set up, let's go ahead and create our model. So we go to the models folder and I create a file called test model. Go ahead and delete all this. <clears throat> well, in this folder, we're going to create a class called test model, which extends CI model. Now that, okay. So now that we have that created, let's create a method called function get all post. Okay, this will go ahead and grab all of this uh, method will grab all of our posts from our database. Okay. See, let's go ahead and fire up navcat and view this database. So we go tutorials, post, and we just have some dummy data in here. Just like a little typical simple blog. Okay. So to do this, we'll just go ahead and do query equals this db query select everything from post okay seems simple enough right so let's just do some error proofing or checking if query num rows is greater than zero So in other words, we're just going to make sure that there has to be something in the database before it runs anything else. We'll do a for each loop. we do for each query a result And then we're going to do each query result as row. Okay, then we're going to create a, an array that will equal to row. Okay. Now after that, we're just going to hit and return the array. Okay, so let's go over what we just let's go over what we just did. We created a query that selects everything from the post table. If there's no number, if the number of rows in the within that query uh, is greater than zero, we took the results. 
and store them in the array called data. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get at this information and display it on the view. And to do that, we got to do it to the controller. So let's go back into our test controller. We can delete this. And just like with um, first things first, let's go ahead and load. Go load. Model. Test model. Okay. And just like we do with the how we can dynamically load uh, the page title, we can go ahead and create. I'm going to do the data array, pass in a key called, let's call it query. Okay, and then we can do this, this, well, equals this, hmm, test model, and within the test model, we're going to grab call this method or function, get all posts. So I go get all posts. Okay. I'm going to save this. So what this is doing right here, first we're loading the model, and now we're setting it to the array uh, key query, this test model. Um, this test model's function get all posts, which is returning an array right here. Okay, and now we're going to pass it through to the view, like so when we load it. So let's go ahead and go to the view. Okay, so if that's the page title that's being echoed. Let's do this. Okay, do a for each statement for each query. as row okay we'll end it here we can do let's try this h2 tags php echo row title okay and then in paragraph tags php echo you know what then we just do php echo row Content. I think that's why I named it. Now let me check it by just firing up NavCat again. Oh. Post. Okay, save that. Let's go ahead. And go into our our demo. Okay. All right, so we can see that we have an error. Oh, I never saved that. So let's go ahead and just refresh. Hmm. Arrow on line seven. 
Hey, just hold on one sec. <clears throat> okay, I figured out what I did wrong. When I went to load the model, I didn't quite, I load mode. And that model, so save that. Refresh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I figured out what I did wrong. I had a couple of things spelled incorrectly. So, no. so right here we're grabbing all the information, filtering it out. So let's go ahead and go back into our application. Hit enter. So you can see it's grabbing all the information from the database. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, create another one. We're going to create one using, uh, go ahead and comp, let's go ahead and delete all of this. I'm going to use the Code Igniter active, uh, active record system for grabbing information from the database. So we can just do it like this. Query equals this db get post all right and just do the exact same thing if query num rows is greater than zero and I'm starting to <laughs> regret actually deleting all this, but it's good practice. Then query result as row data equals row okay re turn data S oh, save save that refresh A line 15 oh that one goes there forgot one last one oh, if Okay, save that, refresh, so there you go. <clears throat> so using active record system for a uh, code igniter, it saves you a whole lot of uh, needless writing. So now let's say if you want to go this db select, uh, we can do select. Hmm. Select title and post. This DB Okay. Refresh. Hmm.
think I need to that. There you go. So that's how you can do if you want to select a certain uh, rows, you just do this right before the query. So you want this part to be at the bottom, the get, and then before this you can add uh, add uh, which exact things you want to select or where from. So this is where we'll uh, leave off today, and then uh, when the next part we'll go ahead and dive into more with the active records. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, give this video a like. Okay, thank you.